The Sri Lankan government needs to go further and faster on human rights, on reconciliation. But they ha the, the point they make repeatedly is that you know, they've had 30 years almost of conflict. It takes time to correct these problems, to reconcile people together. And I accept it takes time, but I think what matters is getting on the right pathway, getting on the right track, because it's only through generosity, through uh, reconciling people, that you can make the most of this country. So a frank meeting, of course not everything uh, I said was uh, accepted, but uh, I sense that they do want to make progress on these issues, and it will help, frankly, by having international pressure uh, in order to make sure that that, um, uh, make sure that that happens. Let me be very clear, if that investigation is not completed by March, then I will use our position on the UN Human Rights Council to work with the UN Human Rights Commissioner and call for a full, credible and independent international inquiry. So being the first foreign leader to visit the North since independence in 1948 and taking a plane load of media with me, I think that was effective in giving the Tamils in the North of this country a voice and a voice that the world needs to listen to. Now, of course, no one here wants to return to the days of the Tamil Tigers and the dreadful and brutal things that they did.